Welcome back. It is always fun to visit the National Aviary, a true gem on Pittsburgh's north side with more than 500 birds from around the world. In fact, I got married over there. That's Thank how you. much I love it. Aww. But this month, there are two special reasons to visit Owl Oween. See what they take did on there. Halloween, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> and the Wings and Wildlife Art Show. Selena Pompiani is live with the Aviary for us this morning to find out more about these fall festivals. Good morning again, Selena. Hey, Heather and David, good morning. David, I did not know that you got married here. That is so cool. We were just talking about all of the weddings they host at the National Aviary. And of course, they have all of their great fall events coming up. We told you about Halloween this Saturday and next Saturday. But another huge event coming up the first weekend of November. It's November 2nd through the 4th is the Wings and Wildlife Art Show. We have so many fantastic and talented artists from over six states coming in to showcase their fantastic work. One of them is right here, John Prasik. Come on in. Thanks for joining me, John. Let's talk about your piece here. This is a beautiful masterpiece. When did you create this? About three and a half years ago. Um, hello, Pittsburgh National Aviary. There's only one National Aviary, and it's here in Pittsburgh. Okay. Um, I did this. I, um, I get sand from Monongahela, but also I got grit, bark, and stuff, matter from the tropical rainforest, and it's incorporated in the painting. So it's an organic uh, process that's part of the painting that's on permanent display. I'm quite honored. It's beautiful and prints will be available for there's, those to purchase? There's prints that has already been available in the gift shops here, so it's awesome. And the money goes right back into the aviary, so it works for everybody. Yeah, I love it. It's a great event. I know the big soiree benefit is on the second, but then everyone could come and enjoy and purchase. I mean, this is a great holiday idea, great holiday gifts. Tell me how many years you have been involved in Wings and Wildlife. Uh, I go back a long time here. Uh, I grew up in Dormont, and let's go back. I'm oldest of five siblings. We used to come down here as kids and play and run around. It was a Pittsburgh aviary, and they had a great art show back then, Wings and Wildlife. And you uh, fast forward to about four years ago, it's back permanently, and it's wonderful. Um, the, it's very tough to get in. It. It's a juried show, so I made the cut this year. My wife made the cut and other people, so we don't know. It's every year there's so much competition coming in, a variety of people. So um, it's just wonderful. A little note, uh, I met my wife-to-be back here uh, in 1988. It's actually 30 years next month, so Maria, hi, low. And my life has not been the same, but it's okay. We're, we're all good to go. So thank you. But it's just a part of Pittsburgh uh, there. And also, too, hey, they named an eagle after Michael Flynn. So how cool is that? So I'm with Bob Mulvihill or Cheryl or Mike Mascaro around. If there happens to be a Sputsy out there, maybe call it a John or Sputsy down the road. That's where I feel. Jono, thanks so much. You are a ton of fun. I love the get up here, by the way. Beautiful painting. You. you could check out his work and all of the other artists that we have at the Wings and Wildlife Show. Again, that is coming up on November 2nd through the 4th, and you have got to come and check it out at the National Aviary. If you want to purchase tickets, we have everything available right on our website. You could go to kdka.com slash PTL, and we will have it posted for you right there. For now, I will send it back to you guys in the studio. You guys got to come to this event. I know you have both been to many events that they hold throughout the year here at the National Aviary, but the fall time is a pretty special time of the year. It sounds like so much fun. Thank you so much, Selena.